Hi, welcome to Lux DIY. My name is Christina. We are a brand new YouTube channel, so please subscribe and hit that like button down below. And we specialize in designer inspired DIYs. And today we're going to be making this Versace inspired necklace that I got off the runway. The original version, I'll put a picture down below. The original version is purple, red, and yellow, similar to this yellow, and I just did not like the colors so much. I don't have a whole lot of red and purple in my wardrobe, so I just feel like I wouldn't have worn it that much, and I think that this is a lot more neutral, better for my closet. So you can like use any kind of colors you want, or so you don't necessarily have to go with this yellow color. You can do black and white if you want. You can switch the pearls out for black and white. So let's begin. For my materials, I have some flowers from the Dollar Tree. I have an assortment of jewelry tools, beads, jump rings, and pins. I have two different types of chain, and I also have nail polish, which I will start painting my flowers with. I will actually start painting several coats of this onto the flowers, and it'll give it a nice plasticky kind of a feel. And to get the specific color of nail polish, I actually did have to mix this. So go ahead and paint as many flowers as you'd like, um, however full you would like your necklace to be. It doesn't have to be just like ours. But now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint the white flowers. And if you notice, there actually is a little bit of green in the middle of the flower and I kind of wanted to keep that. So I'm just going to paint a little bit of white and I'm going to do several coats of the clear. I am going to paint some smaller flowers as well just to fill in the necklace a little bit. These are some of the beads on which I will be using for my flower charms. I am going to trim around the edges of the flowers just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. I'm going to use these gold beads here from my smaller flowers and I'm going to put it directly on the end pin and stick it right through the flower. I am going to put a green bead on the other side of the flower and then I'm going to go ahead and bend my wire into an L shape. I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to use the round nose pliers and in the opposite direction I will then make a loop. Doing the same process, I'm going to make some little pearl charms and because you have a smaller bead, you will need to use the curved thinner pliers just to hold the bead into place. I'm going to attach a jump ring to each charm so then I can attach it to the chain afterwards.
The chain that I have bought actually does allow me to open up the loops individually so I can just add the charms right onto there. Now I have charms that are flowers and I have charms with pearls on them and I will begin making a design on the necklace with them, just adding them right onto the original chain. As you see, the necklace does have somewhat of a waterfall effect and I did that by making some of the pearl charms longer in one area just by adding another chain link. So I actually did not film myself putting a clasp onto this necklace. You can use whichever kind of clasp you want, whether it be a lobster claw clasp or a regular clasp, but you're just gonna use your jewelry tools and use a jump ring to attach it. <laughs> 